Dr. Janet is back, and we're talking about that beautiful point in a woman's life called menopause yeah. and hormone therapy. Yeah, so um, there is a worldwide cancer conference uh, that is going on now. An abstract just presented a few days ago that is truly getting worldwide attention because it has to do with certain risks of other types of cancers facing women on hormone replacement therapy. For some context here, we're talking about estrogen alone estrogen and progesterone compl compared to placebo and some damage and myth and misunderstanding that was created back in 2002 with something called the WHI study. So they did another analysis of women in this study. So they have 10, 20 years of follow-up data and they found that women who were taking just estrogen for hormone replacement therapy because they had had a hysterectomy, they did not have a uterus, had an increased risk of developing ovarian cancer, their ovaries remained, and dying from that ovarian cancer compared to women who were taking estrogen and progesterone who had no increased risk. And then interestingly, the women on estrogen and progesterone found to have a lower risk of endometrial cancer. So I think a lot of this data confirmed what we had known for a while. A lot of it reminds us that when you talk about treating a woman with menopausal symptoms for, with hormone replacement therapy, that you can't just look at one body part, you have to look at the whole woman. There are other options. There are more options now than ever. Some of them are prescription non-hormonal options and some of them are complementary options, some of them even dietary. So I think that women facing hormonal symptoms with menopause need to speak to their doctor and need to tell them that there is new data, there is new option, and they need to educate themselves. And sometimes they need to educate their doctor. Best advice there. <laughs>